Welcome to Nintendo Ninja News. We've got a little bit of music playing in the background. Um, I thought I would have a bit of a relaxing um, video while we talk about some stuff, some issues that Nintendo's doing at the moment. And this is from. Can you guess what music it is? It's from Xenoblade Chronicles X, that's correct. And it is great music. Very, very nice. So let's um, turn it down a little bit. There we go. Oh, maybe I should do that more often. Have a little bit of music <clears throat> at the beginning. So we had a Nintendo Direct, and um, they revealed a lot of stuff. Um, Zelda Amiibos and Pucci and um, Yoshi's Willy World and a sports game for Mario next year and, <coughs> and Mario Maker for uh, the 3DS. And it all looks very good, doesn't it? It sounds really good for the Nintendo 3DS. And, you know, I'm sure that most people were happy and that sort of thing. But this is a director where you need to scratch the surface a little more, just a little bit more. <coughs> um, so the two questions that I think that most fans have been asking for is what, when the hell we're going to find out about the NX? Number two... What's happening to the 3DS and the Wii U for the Christmas period, for the rest of the year and a little bit into next year? And we got that, we got one of those questions answered in the direct. And basically, nothing is really happening to the Wii U. It is basically dead. Um, console is still being made, but it's sort of discontinued in a way. <coughs> now, last Christmas, we had um, spin-off games. That was the, the season of spin-offs and you know, Animal Crossing and and ports and things like that, you know, ports from older consoles. This year, we have um, ports from the Wii U going to the 3DS. Games that were good, but probably didn't sell as much as what Nintendo had hoped. You know, Yoshi's Woolly World, Mario Maker did sell well, but a couple million or few more, it would be very useful. <clears throat> little concerned about um, Super Mario Maker. I'm um, not really having online functionality. I'm not too sure how that's going to work. And a lot of people just went when they heard about it. Um, the, the Legend of Zelda Amiibos and uh, new Animal Crossing New Leaf update. It seems like they're trying to um, hold on to the stronghold of the 3DS, which obviously has sold close to 60 million. Um, units compared to 13, 14 million that we use. So it makes sense to put all your good eggs and good games into that and business-wise not doing it. <clears throat> now the fan is going to be very upset, especially if you own a Wii U. You know, you bought Super Mario Maker, that was an exclusive game. Now that's not the case. Um, for the 3DS owner, they keep on getting good games. Dragon Quest um, 7 is coming out and 8 is coming out the next year. <clears throat> now, Here's the thing, and it's, it's the second fucking year that Nintendo are masking ports from another console or spin-off with Amiibos. And if you're saying, if you're saying to me, this hasn't happened before, let me just, let me just remind you of last year. Would you, would you still buy this if it didn't come with the Amiibos or the, um, the NFC reader? Probably not, unless you're a really, really big fan of Animal Crossing. I love New Leaf, didn't like this game. Now, any other games that they try to, to sell with Amiibos? Let me, let me, let me, oh, 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 we've got another one. Now, Twilight Princess is my, my favourite Zelda, but even I knew that adding the Amiibo would have helped with sales and the cynical Nintendo fans going, well, I've already got the game on the, in, on the, um, on the, um, pop, pop, pop on the Wii console, and I got it on the GameCube. Uh, why do I need to get this game for? So, <clears throat> for me, if, and you know, the thing that will drive, for example, the Poochie and Yoshi Woolly World um, port game is the Poochie Amiibo. Um, I mean, I love the Yoshi ones, and I probably am gonna get it, the, bast the bastards, and and the same thing with um, Animal Crossing. There will be a resurgence of some new leaf sales and that sort of thing. Um, part of the reason why 
um, Happy Home Designer sold over 2 million copies, oh my god, was because of the cards. They released 400 cards, and now they're releasing another 50. And the main reason why is we know you, we know that some of you bought all 400, so you know another 50 is not going to hurt your hate. So it's just pulling a few more dollars from the wallet. <clears throat> and I think that's that's the disappointing thing. But in the business point of view, it probably makes sense. You know, the real games that we're looking for are still being made and kept secret on the NX. So you've had a couple years of you know, spin-offs, ports, now basically they're just taking games from the Wii U, which is not even featured as, as a really important thing. They may do a direct on the Wii U, but I would expect, you know, most of them to be third-party games or maybe a couple more ports, maybe a couple really cheap spin-offs. But it's not going to be any new grand games. The, the last the last really the last game for the Wii U is um, Breath of the Wild. <coughs> and I think one of the failings of the Wii U, um, apart from the marketing, the name, the the gamepad, too similar to the Wii, is there hasn't really been a defining game of that era. And some people can make the case that maybe it's Super Mario Maker. I wouldn't say so. You could make a str much stronger case for Splatoon, <coughs> which could be seen as a defining game, but I don't think it's as you know innovative as it is. Um, but the sad thing is that defining game is probably going to be Breath of the Wild, and it's going to be released about three years too late on a console that's basically on its last legs, and it's also going to be released on the NX. And that's a really sad thing. But in the business mindset, it makes sense. For the fans, they're going to, they're not going to be too thrilled about it, but they'll still buy it. Um, <clears throat> am I going to get any of these games? I think I'll get the Poochie Amiibo. Um, maybe Mario Maker for the, for the sake of um, doing levels with people and mucking around on that. You know, that could be fun to play my own levels on, <clears throat> on that. But as you know, the direct was very cool. The, the the Zelda amiibos was good in that, but they know that they're getting some good money from amiibos and that, so they're trying to diversify and just keep up appearances and just try and stretch themselves out to the NX because um, they know they've got another six months to try and do it. So they're trying to just limp over the line. So the, while this direct was good, and I'm sure the the, the Nintendo fans liked it. To me, it was a bit like um, trying to scrounge up ways of trying to um, get to the, the finish line. That finish line is March 2017, where they can reveal those launch games and then show off the games that are coming out afterwards. So, in a way, I'm not too surprised by um, the, the, the sort of type of games that are, that are now um, being revealed. Now, after sort of digesting and having a bit of a think about it. But, um, <clears throat> hmm, hmm, I don't know. So, I'm not too sure if I'll get, I'm, I might get the Mario Maker and, and Poochie and Yoshi and me, but, but if I can get Poochie by himself, I'll probably do that. So, I've already got the Wii U game, so I don't need another version of it. And maybe that's something that Annex will, will solve. You know, instead of trying to buy two versions of the same game every time, we can just get the one and we can, you know... But, um, yes, lots of things and lots of um, interesting stuff about um, the future of the Nintendo 3DS. I think it will still stick around because it's still got that 60 million um, units sold and players. And there's still some good money to be generated. So, um, I think that will be it from me. And that's my thoughts on the Direct. It's just, it's really just porting games and uh, trying to stretch the life of the 3DS uh, so Nintendo can reach the finish line um, with the NX because the Wii U is buggered and uh, I think gamers in this generation are not used to the, used to the idea of buying a console that flops. I mean, wh when was the last time a console really flopped? Maybe the GameCube? Um, that's, that's a good... 15 years ago now so you got a generation who picked up a Wii U and gone mm. that happens with, with products and and um, business and that sometimes products sell well and sometimes they don't and sometimes 
that happens. So, all right, that's it from me, and I shall see you later on.